All right, hey Capricorn. So I'm doing um, the ghosted set for this week. All right, um, the when I meditated on energy, all right, I meditated on the ghoster's energy more so than yours. Um, I did meditate on both your energies, but this is coming from their perspective. All right, but it's not to say that the storyline is not going to match what what your what happened. Okay, um, you're going to be able to tell by how I line out the cards um, if this is your story. So for Capricorn, all right. So the person the person that ghosted you, um, all right, from their perspective. Um, what type of a connection was this from their perspective? What type of connection was this from the ghoster's perspective? All right. Okay, so um, Capricorn. What we have is um, a very good looking energy, okay? Somebody that likes to explore their options, all right? And they're just looking for their happiness, all right? So um, this person, um, I don't feel like they were serious about you at all. Um, if they tried to pretend like they were, um, I see that they are queen of wands energy, all right? They're good looking. They can have anybody they want, Um and they got options, all right? So I feel like they treated you like an option. Um, and no, they didn't tell me that, but they don't have to. When you're meditating on energy, you don't you don't have to be told when you're, yeah. So um, why'd they ghost? Why'd they ghost cap? All right, cap. So we have the Hermit card, the Empress, and the Three of Pentacles. All right. Um, so I feel like with this coming out, um, the Five of Pentacles, um, I feel um, they have been um, hurt. All right. In the past, they've been hurt before. Um, they probably had some self-reflection. Um, some. All right. But overall, I feel like... I can't help but feel like this energy thinks that they're too good for you. Even if they think that they, um, even if they, um, have never said that. Okay. Even if they didn't project that, um, I feel like this, this person, um, that you're dealing with, they wait for the next best, best thing to come along. So let's see what their current energy is. Yeah. I don't know why. Capricorn, but I'm feeling very feisty um, all of a sudden. I'm feeling feisty. I'm not trying to put any negativity into the read, but when I did um, Taurus's read, I got kind of feisty too, um, just because I'm like, how you know, I, I hate it when people um, get treated like this. You know, um, it's it's stupid. You know, um, you're not good enough. You're not good enough for somebody. You know, it doesn't make you feel good, especially when you're not stupid and and you just know. You know. Um, <laughs> Um, this person's energy, they're waiting for their ships to come in. All right. Well, you know what, when you're waiting, because you're just waiting for the next best thing to come along, um, you know, eventually the, the bullshit's going to fizzle out. All right. This person, <laughs> I hope that they have this epiphany. All right. With the hermit and realize that they can't be acting that way all the time. Ten of swords is about ending. All right. Um, they do their energy is they they do want to see success they do want to um close the, they want something to change they want the cycle to change all right but it's not going to change um if they're just in this energy waiting for the next best thing um and i do feel like this person actually realized that realizes that or they wake up to it um so let's see capricorn does this person reach out to you does this person reach out to you
you're going to know too, even if the storyline is not the same as you feel, you're going to know based off of your intuition. So you guys need to use that too. And do they reach out to you? So we have the two of cups coming out, which is all about, <laughs> it's about communication. Um, but you know, it's like uh, where they were thinking that there wasn't this connection. Um, they find it. All right. So I feel like a little time apart. Um, they do. They they are going to reach back out. We got the um, Ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and Temperance, Soulmate, Soulmate, New Beginnings. Um, this is all reaching out to. This is a, having an epiphany, being inspired, and being like, oh, Capricorn's my person. All right. But they are worried that you are going to be guarding your heart. They're worried um, that you're going to be pissed off at them. They're going to be worried that they're not going to get through to you. So um, when they reach out, are they going to ask for reconciliation? Do they ask <laughs> yeah. yeah oh Capricorn after I've had some time to think about it you know um, I realized that I can't get any better and um, I really want to try to work this out with you all right I've changed that's me being sarcastic you guys that's my sarcastic voice all right um, three of cups is yeah they're gonna try to ask for some kind of reconciliation with you cap that's what I see um, I want to see what your reaction is going to be. How is Cap going to act? How does Capricorn act? So Capricorn, it's like you're going to be in this energy where um, <laughs> you... Um, You've probably been spying on them, so this is something that you've probably been waiting on. You've probably been waiting for them to come through and uh, see what you're all about, all right? I feel like uh, with this energy right here, um, you, I kind of feel like you're going to be in this mode of, yeah, I've been waiting for you to come back, you know what I mean? Um, but all the while, I feel like you've, you, if you're, you know, I feel like you got access to a uh, Facebook stock or whatever, you know, um, but at the bottom of the deck too, we got justice coming out. This is karma. You know, what's going to happen. Capricorn, please get out. So, um, sorry guys. I got like, I don't, this is my last video to do. And I'm just like, give me 12 minutes, man. <laughs> um, all right. So let's see. Um, if Capricorn and this person um, decide to go for it, um, what would be the outcome? You got judgment, the past, ace of cups, new beginnings, emotional fulfillment, but there's always going to be the lingering, the, the, um, the mindset of, is this person still looking for something better? I feel like that's not going to go away for you, Capricorn. All right. I feel like there is potential here for a new beginning, a new start. And I feel like you see it. All right. But I feel like it's not going to be without that inkling in the back of your head thinking, is this person going to, you know, screw me over? Um, what is the advice for Capricorn? What is the advice? All right, so what your team is saying, okay, so um, I feel like what your team is saying is, you know, just be careful of this person's uh, energy, all right? Um, just because you have the mag magician card coming out doesn't mean necessarily that somebody is using their uh, magician powers in a good way, all right? There could be some manipulation coming on, all right? And your team wants you to know, how was it in the past when this person approached as a page? Did they approach you with anything of substance or did they break your heart? Um, you choose. All right. It's your choice. We all have free will. Okay. Um, but let's see. Regardless of this going on, what's to come for Capricorn in the next 90 days? Let's come into Cap. Oh, you got, you're going to have an offer coming in. I don't feel like that's you. I feel like somebody's making an offer to you. Coming to cat. All right. So, you guys, what's coming to you in the next 90 days? 
All right. I feel like you know this person is going to come. I feel like this is going to be something that you're dealing with. All right. And for some of you, I feel like um, it could be that you are actually dealing with this person for the next 90 days and you're going to witness another stagnant point when it comes to this. Um, I feel like some of you, um, you know, aren't, I, I feel like maybe you're just um, completely um, in love with this person and you want them to come back around that you don't care in what manner. So I feel like um, coming, just my eyes being drawn to the magician, it's like um, if you're manifesting the return of this person, make sure you guys are manifesting the type of relationship you want when they come back. Not the same crap, you know, not just telling the universe, I want this person back. No, just be like, I want this person back, but I want this and this and this. You know, I want this person back along with this and this and this, you know, as what you want uh, out of the relationship. You can manifest the person back, but you're going to manifest the same individual back over and over and over again. All right. That's why I feel like people, um, they break up and then they come, you know, come back together because it's like, I just want this person back so bad. But it's like, but do you want the same thing with that person or do you want to try something new? All right. So I feel like, um, you know, the message here is pretty loud and clear. It's like manifest, moon card manifest, the, the type of relationship you want that's going to be happy, all right? That's going to be nostalgic. That's going to be um, the deep bond, all right, that you are going for. Um, because you know what, Cap? You, got, you guys got the power to do that. All you got to do is tell the universe, God, pray about what you want with this person, not just having the person back, but pray about what you want with the person. And then that stuff will manifest to you. So, um, I'm going to draw some initials to see who we're talking to. Doesn't have to be, if your initials aren't here, that it's not your story. Um, it could be somebody crossed over that's talking to you, trying to get your attention. It could, it could be a street name, uh, an abbreviation, something significant to you. So it's going to be yours or their first, middle, or last. All right. Um, so we have H, A, S, G, V. There's another S. Uh, we got an R, a K. And another S. So Capricorn, we got H G R A B K S S S. All right. So anything of significance to you guys, um, I'm gonna leave it right there, Capricorn. I wish you guys all the best, and I will have some new readings out later on during the week. Bye, guys.